Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today what I want to do is I want to introduce a new simulation tool. It's free. Uh, well, there is a free version. It's a smaller version of the full-blown version, but it's free. And it's big enough to run the circuits like from the book I just reviewed from Christoph Basso. So you can, and there's a bunch of circuits that came with that. Look at that video, show you how to download those. But there's a bunch of circuits from boost, buck converters, all the way down to the more complex circuits like LLC converter. So I want to show you that software, kind of get our feet wet a little bit, play with the LLC circuit, just so you can kind of see an interesting circuit. And hey, I'll put the links below. By the way, I'll put a link where you can buy the book at a discounted price rate. I don't get anything from that or anything like that. That's just a, a discount they're, the publisher's giving while uh, it's kind of an advanced uh, purchase because books won't, I don't think they're shipped out until next month in June. Okay, so yeah, they give you a discount to buy ahead. <laughs> it's a great book. Yeah, see the review. I'll put the links down below. And let's jump in this video and see what you think. Let me know what you guys think about it, okay? Thumbs up if you like the video. That helps YouTube analytics a lot. It helps the channel. Free way to help the channel. So, appreciate it. All right, this is just a quick video on getting started. Uh, come to simplesttechnologies.com product slash elements. And, yeah, it's right here. You can see it here. Products. Come down to elements. That's the free version which you should be able to run all the basso uh, circuits off of okay then download it and once you've got it downloaded you just go ahead and start it and you'll get this page here there's a symmetrics tool that's more of just a strict spice tool i believe and then there's a simplest and the combination of the two are what makes the power supply stuff goes so quickly okay okay and then just go go to file and open and go to the directory you saved your, your schematics and open one up all right so then what i have is i've got all these parts saved under the book collection and if you come down here i mean just open up you know kind of fairly complicated converter here the llc cm that's current mode okay it's a demo so okay here you go you can see your windows you get when you open up something you got the stuff over here on the left kind of taking up some room but sometimes you want that window there's part selection and you know in the part selection if you click on one of these things let's just go find something it shows you a picture of what it is down here then you have your command shell and We'll go into more of this stuff as we go on. And then the file view where you have things saved. Okay. Uh, well, the schematic here, if you come up to the window here where the plus minus, this guy here is a window where you can zoom in on certain things. And the one over here just auto sizes. So there it is. It's kind of hard to see. So let's go back to uh, this one and we'll just zoom in on the output circuit. So the output, here's the transformer. The way it's modeled, uh, we're just going to go over this quickly. We'll talk more about this circuit later. But there's a diode output you can see. And you got ESR modeled here. you got the DC resistance modeled the secondary windings. You've got your output load. And then as we scroll to the left, we'll see the input circuitry. Uh, the other, the primary side of the transformer, how it's modeled and here's our resonant inductor our resonant capacitor so this is our resonant tank right here and it's being uh exercised by these two transistors right here which are modeled by switch one and switch two okay and this is an instrument here for doing the body plus ac analysis it's just an interesting instrument and then here's the voltage input and it's modeled by VN right now. Again, I'll, we'll, we'll go into more about how you do all this stuff, but just to get you started so you can start playing around. Um, here's the current sense feedback. Here's a voltage reference coming into this pin with the feedback coming in. So you got this voltage offset 
and, and it's being referenced to this pin, which comes down to this circuit. And this circuit's setting up a slope compensation that uh, compares to the current sense. Okay, and then here, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, there's a bigger picture of this current sense feedback circuit. And you can see all this kind of ends up going into this logic stuff, which goes to this SR flip-flop, which is a set reset. So it comes into the reset and the set is set up by this circuit here, um, which these two amps are, uh, one of them's got the Q coming in, one's got the Q not. So when one's high, one's uh, the opposite, it's not not high it's low and then and it's setting up a timing where we come in here charge cap hit this guy this guy feedback comes around to the set and it also sets this reference here for this pin the other pin of u2 uh, so anyway it's just kind of a it's our clocking circuit and this guy here it's used for the simulation and it helps take this clock and feeds it back to the simulation which is called a pop periodic operating point i'll show you that here just in a moment okay let's just come up here and go ahead and run simulation now see the arrow right here let's just run that simulation it's pretty fast right so what we're seeing is gain phase up here and if we come down here we'll see this tab and this is the transient and it says pop that's that thing I was talking about. And here's the AC gain, the first window. So you got these tabs down here. Let me show you some more tabs. You come up here in the top right, you got the web view. That That's that thing we looked at in the beginning. Here's our schematic. And here's our waveform, view, waveform viewer right here on to the right. Now on our schematic, if we come over here, and, uh, there's actually two tabs. There's that guy, another way to turn that on, and there's a schematic. So you can see these different shells. Now, let me show you how I usually like to set things up. I'll come up here and we'll actually first come over to schematic. And you come down here to say undock and undock all, uh, or you can come up here and say schematic editor undock. But let's just say we come over here. I'll click in this one to make sure it's active whoops don't want to draw okay well i'll leave that there for now uh and then i'll say undock all okay so undocks things now i'm just going to drop this window there's the output of the simulation and i come up here and do an undock all on that one so there's the simulation file okay and i can size that if I have a two window, if I'm operating off two windows, I can slide this over to one window, which makes it really nice. Then let me pop this window back up, go to schematic. And then I can put this in the other window, the schematic. So that's really a nice way to do it, I think, is you have your, your simulation one window and your, uh, your output of the simulation in the second window. It just makes it easy to go back and forth and probe. Uh, for instance, you can come up here and just open up a new simulation window. Then once you got the new simulation window, you can, let's say we wanna look at this HB pin. Then I can come up here and I can say probe voltage and come down and look at the voltage on that. Oh, that's a gain window, okay? so. If I want to change that, then what I do is come over to simulator, choose analysis, and this is the periodic operating point that I was talking about. This is where you choose uh, the device you're going to use to help your simulations run faster. It's a timing thing. It's something for another video. Uh, here's your AC analysis. There's a setup, and there's a transient. Right now, the transient's not selected, so let's turn off the AC and select a transient. And you see the pop becomes active, then I hit run. Okay, runs through this simulation, and we're back to this, okay? So now, let's say if I go back to this, open a new window, uh, come back to this. Now, usually in the toolbar, if you have this open, it'll have the, uh, 
probe there for you. See, I can come down, well, there's a wiring probe. Down here is a voltage probe. So just another way to do the same thing as I showed you before. Hit the HB and there you are. So then you can wear the magnifying glasses. Well, heck, maybe I'm good with the vertical part. So I'll just, just click on this and only zoom in on the horizontal aspect so I don't mess up the vertical. So there you go. Now let's just zoom in a little bit tighter. Okay. Then I can come up here to cursors and toggle on cursors and it tells me different ways I can do that. And I can grab this guy and say, okay, I want to look at the down arrow and see, I've got a, an X and a Y cursor. So as I move my finger around on the mouse pad, I can adjust both at the same time. So I put that right there. Come over here and grab this guy. And I'll put this on the down slope of this next cycle. Okay, so there's one cycle right there. Okay, and it's 11.8 microseconds per cycle. Well, I can measure that. And I can just come up here and say measure and go to frequency. And then down here tells me it's 84.8 kilohertz. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick look. You can, it's pretty intuitive. You can see uh, how descriptive the, the tabs are up here. And if you hover over them, they'll explain, give it a little, you know, explanation what they are. So yeah, I, I recommend just pulling this up before you uh, mess up your schematic. <laughs> I would go to file and say save as save schematic as and save it under a different name like try you know like llc try something like that something where you can save the original file and not and not uh disturb the original files or not change them and you can use this back arrow but sometimes you go back and you go oh man there's something else i did and it's not it's not going back far enough uh well you can go to file come down here to options and I recommend doing that go to general and here's all these different tabs up here but right here in the beginning it says undo level look at that right at the very top so you can just say I want to undo maybe up to 20 things in the beginning yeah so you can kind of play around become more familiar with the tool and you know I think it's pretty easy to just get started and kind of learn as you go but yeah, just wanted to give this quick uh, preview of this and this LLC circuit, which is really interesting to look at. And just as an example of how you can look at probes, let's go to probe and let's do current. And I want to do it into pin of the, a device. And that would be kind of become kind of important as time goes on. So just come to a pin of any kind of device you have and let's choose this current and now let's zoom in on that all right pretty interesting looking current right now let's look at this current comes here breaks into these two branches let's go look at those okay the current coming through this what's the green waveform right here that is the inductance of the transformer. Okay, that's what's being simulated by this branch. Let's go current device pin again, and let's choose this guy. Okay, and then this blue one, you can see how it's sinusoidal with the step, and then sinusoidal with the step. That's the current that's actually being transferred to the secondary side. That's the trans transformer action, okay? and Let's just pick this spot right here. The red waveform is the blue one. The current is being transferred to the secondary side. There's a little dead spot, and then it takes off. So that's what we see here in the red waveform. Well, it's offset a little bit from the blue because we're also adding the current that's charging the inductance of the transformer. And then down here where it turns off, now all we're left with is the current going through the inductance of the transformer until the next diode on the secondary side turns on. And that's what's happening. There's a commutation of the positive diode and the negative diode. 
Let's scroll over there and take a look and see what that looks like. Probe. Whoops, current and device. And let's just choose this one. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look close, see where my cursor is? There's a kind of a, I don't even know what color that is, beige or something. If we come down here, we kind of see that color right here. So it just takes off and goes off the screen. So let's, uh, let's fit the height. See how I'm hovering over that? It says it's going to fit the height. Wow, look at that. So the secondary side, lower voltage, but higher current. And look at that big pulse. Now look, I should get big negative pulse on the negative diode where this happens, right? Let's just go and take a look at that. Current device pin, let's see this current. Okay, there we go. So that's, the, I'm, I'm looking at the positive current flow. So it puts it up here on the top, but you can see that uh, negative waveform creates a, another current pulse off this guy. Here's our full rectified output. So we get a, a pulse for each waveform. So it's essentially we're doubling the current uh, frequency at the output that we got over on the sec on the primary side. All right, so that was just an introduction. I hope you liked that. I hope that made it interesting where you want to go download this and start playing with circuits. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I kind of just went kind of quick just to present the tool, present, you know, just use the LLC converter as an example of how you can probe and how you can look around. And it's a really interesting converter, so I thought some of you guys might like that. It, you know, this stuff is pretty heavy, I think, to begin, you know, begin with if, if you're not familiar with converters. That LLC converter is a pretty complex converter. And yeah, so, but, so it's kind of fun to look at, I think. <laughs> And like I said, you can't blow up anything, right? You can probe away all you want. So, all right, hey, give a thumbs up to the video if you like it, if it's helpful, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. I want to thank my Patreons, and you become a Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. But I want to thank my Patreons for all the support and everybody watching the videos and all that uh, for supporting the channel. And all right, guys, hope that was helpful. I'm going to do a lot more circuits, and I'm going to go more in detail and I'll have some, probably some whiteboard stuff explaining how these circuits work. So we'll spend some more time doing that. This was just kind of an introduction video. So, all right, we'll see you next time.